Okay, disclaimer, uh, this video is for educational purposes only. Uh, this is not to be used for human use or veterinary use, uh, strictly for education and entertainment only. Um, so, I'm going to give you a brief walkthrough of how to make uh, bacteriostatic water. You will need distilled water, uh, benzyl alcohol, which you can buy this off of Amazon. I think that was $20 and an eight ounce bottle is enough to make 2,360 10 milliliter vials. So you would have enough for uh, basically the rest of your life. <laughs> um, also, you can buy pre-sterilized vials on Amazon that are already sealed. Um, I am making multiples. So I have just sterilized these myself with a pressure cooker. Um, so, okay, for, I'm going to be making 200 milliliters of, of the, the water, so I will be using uh, 2 milliliters of benzyl alcohol. I'm going to add that first. And the ratio that you want for, um, for, for BAC water is for every 100 milliliters of water, you want 1 milliliter of uh, benzyl alcohol, and that would give you a 0.9% uh, uh, benzyl alcohol concentration. So also you don't need like beakers and all that. Uh, I just have all of this stuff. You also don't need a magnetic stirrer. You can just use a sterilized fork. Um, but I have this for other products that I make, so it just makes my life easier. Um, so before all that, I guess I kind of skipped ahead. You want to sterilize everything, you know, like just use, use Lysol, just sterilize your working area. Uh, I like to take a shower beforehand. Um, I have uh, isopropyl alcohol, 70%, to uh, just kind of spray my hands and arms down. You want 70%, you would think that 90% would, uh, you know, be more sterilizing, but it evaporates too fast to kill off bacteria, so 70% works good. Or you can just use like hand sanitizer, that would work too. Okay, so anyway, we added my BAC water. I'm going to fill this. Uh, also, I boil the that, the uh, distilled water just for extra safety measures. Um, so, if you didn't have beakers, you could just do this manually with uh, with a syringe. You know, just uh, you know, 10, 10 milliliter syringes full to do that. Uh, we go a little, a little more than that. And also, if it's, uh, you know, slightly more concentrated, that's not going to hurt you. Um, you know, some products, not BAC water, but certain oil-based products, uh, if you know, you know, they can go up to 2% uh, benzyl alcohol concentration, and it's not, you know, detrimental at all. Um, so, if you're doing this at home, you just start with a fork. Uh, I'm going to do this just with... Uh, Magnetic stir just make life easier. Don't need to stir for super long, just enough to uh, get it, you know, blend it together well. Okay, since I'm showing how to do this uh, for personal use, you have a uh, pre sealed sterilized vial, so it would look something like this, when you get it, you would just uh, pop the top off. Yep. <laughs> Somehow you get, I get nervous. Uh, it's like I'm doing public speaking, but I'm not. So, grab a little preparatory step here. Uh, this is a 22 micron uh, wheel filter. So, I don't know if you can read it, probably not. But it's non-pyrogenic. Uh, it will filter out anything you know, above 22 microns in size. Uh, this is basically how you sterilize your solution. Um, how you, you're supposed to prep this is you just kind of soak up some benzyl alcohol just to get the filter wet. And then what I do typically just because 
Well, I've noticed on some of them there is some uh, like like part particulate matter that's on the uh, the outside part of the filter. Sometimes and it will come go into like the vial. So I just flush it some of the still water. Use like just a little bit of force. Just kind of flush it through. And also it gets out the excess uh, benzyl alcohol so that you're not getting an additional concentration there. Anyway, Jesus Christ, I'm so nervous <laughs> doing this. So anyway, how you would do a personal use vial is uh, you would take one syringe tip puncture this this will act as a uh, to allow it to breathe like to, for the exit you know when you put water in to let the uh, the pressure escape from it Jesus so what you would do you would suck up 10 milliliters of water put the filter back on Take another syringe tip, put it on the end of this, and you simply insert it into the vial and push through. And it is filtering out any contaminants, any bacteria as it's filtering. that out, take that out. It's still warm, so it's kind of, but yeah, there you go.